Hello and welcome back to the Common Colt Podcast, a Colts podcast with real takes and no clickbait. I'm Josh Hudgens, joined by Dan Hertzler. What's up, Dan? Uh, I'm doing pretty good, doing pretty good. We're about ready to do our big mock 2.0. We had some pretty big changes since the combine, pretty big changes since the the Colts didn't get pick 1-1. Free agency's kind of been lackluster, so Colts are sitting here now looking at only a select few of picks and yet they got some holes to fill, and so we're going to dive right into this. Yeah, I think the story of this mock draft is going to be the Colts actually have a lot of holes when you really dive into yep. their roster. And this free agency update, obviously they've traded Gilmore in free agency. They uh, let Paris Campbell walk. They, they've had some other th- moves. So we're going to start right off into this mock with pick 1.4. Uh, we're not predicting any trades. I still think yep. one might happen, but you can get down a dangerous slippery slope when you start going fantasy world and making up all these trades. Yeah. So. Um, I think we're for this mock. I'm thinking Bryce Young, C.J. Stroud both go one and two, whatever order that yep. is, and maybe Will Anderson goes to the Cardinals. Yeah. So kind of a weird spot for the Colts to be in. Yeah, I, I think that's the biggest story too. Uh, go along with what you said about the holes and the the lack of picks and all that kind of stuff is the fact that the Colts didn't get one one, stuck at one four. And uh, what are they going to do? Because you know Jalen Carter, who was Kind of projected to go early, had a really awful pro day. Looks out of shape, looks fat. Um, and, you know, he probably won't go 1-3, and that would have helped the Colts. Now, what do you do? And so you, you and I disagree pretty big time on this. Um, you know, I'm looking and saying, I think the Colts have no other option but to get a quarterback. Even though I don't think uh, Anthony Richardson or Will Levis are, are worthy of the 1-4, I think because the fact that they have not gotten a better veteran quarterback – they put themselves into a box. They have to get a quarterback, and they're going to reach at 1-4. I got them taking Anthony Richardson. I know you're against that idea. I am, and I, I do think that there's a spot where Richardson could go, and I'd be okay with that. Levis, yeah. I feel like he's Carson Wentz, kind of, and I, I'm, I'm not on the Levis bandwagon at all. I do like what kind of physical attributes Richardson has, and if the Colts were to trade back in the first round, I would, I would do that. But yeah. for me, I'm taking a – I'm taking a pass rusher. Obviously, I would like Will Levis to, or not Will Levis, excuse me, uh, Anderson to be there, the Anderson, guy from yeah. Bama. Uh, I would like um, Jalen Carter, maybe. I know he's got some crime issues. Yeah. He's, but I, I'm taking Tyree Wilson, the edge out of Texas Tech. Uh, having pass rush is key. Yeah. You got to protect your quarterback and you got to sack the quarterback. And I'm not reaching in the quarterback. I'm not, I'm not fond of it if you're, if you're not feeling great and if you're not feeling sold, especially with the Colts' history right yeah. now, quarterback. I'm just taking a pass rusher. And in the second round, then, I'm taking my quarterback, Hendon Hooker, at 35th overall. Yeah, I mean, if you could tell me today that that would happen, that magically, everything would work out, then then I could kind of agree with you. You're taking more of a, of a, a playmaker on the defensive side, more of a better player at that, posi- or at that uh, draft position, which I get that. The problem is I don't think you can guarantee that quarterback in the second round, and that is a huge gamble when all you've got is Gardner Minshew as your quarterback right now on the roster. I don't think you can play around with that. And so that's why I had to go Anthony Richardson, uh, and then I'm coming back with Josh Downs. I, I love yeah, this I like kid. That pick. Um, that's, that's your boy. That's your guy that you like. Um, you know, this kid out of North Carolina, I think he's the great slot receiver. And so I'm going right for quarterback and receiver. I'm hitting the two biggest needs that the Colts have. And I'm not playing around with any other games. Well, I think that if you get a quarterback one, definitely going receiver two. Now, if you don't take a quarterback in the first round, then you got to, I think you got to take one next pick, uh, which is Hendon Hooker. I know he's getting, he's kind of old for uh, a rookie. Yeah. Uh, the ACL thing doesn't scare me as much as it uh, maybe should. I, I think ACL yeah. injuries are not as big of a deal as they used to be. Uh, medical, I mean, these doctors have gotten good. Yeah. And quarterbacks just, I mean, they're not running backs. Now, Hooker does move around. He does take some hits he shouldn't. Um, I just I like taking that pick. The guy has 58 touchdowns in his last two seasons to only five interceptions. Bit of a rhythm passer. Uh, I like that pick. And look, if you take a guy in the second round, you can kind of, if you take a quarterback next year than in the first round, then you're not, yeah. look, you know, you, you can kind of do that and you don't have as much invested in them. So um, yeah. I, I, I like Hooker, but hey, uh, still the dream is somehow getting Stroud or Bryce Young. That is my <laughs> dream. So I just hey, we can't, we can't live in the dream world, man. We got to live in reality. And, and the Colts didn't get 1 1, so we're stuck here. Uh, it's pretty interesting. Again, you, you haven't addressed the, the receiver position. So you go one uh, defense, you go two, uh, you know, quarterback, uh, third round. Um, you know, this is where I'm starting to say, okay, now I got to address the cornerback with trading Gilmore 
Um, I know offensive line is an issue. I know you got to kind of do something there, but I still think our cornerback depth is a big concern. And so uh, there's a kid out of Syracuse, uh, Garrett Williams, uh, that uh, looks like uh, a nice player, uh, can play on the outside. Um, you know, uh, again, a third round, fourth round, these are guys that you're, you're hoping can play uh, in a really good draft. You hit on these guys and they become starters. Uh, to me, especially this round and next round, I'm doubling down on cornerback because we need to get one. Well, that's their biggest need outside of quarterback. I mean, they traded away their best corner and Kenny Moore had a down year. And obviously Isaiah Rogers, he's not proven. Yeah. We kind of like him, but he's not proven anything. Uh, I actually took Blake Freeland here, an offensive lineman. Uh, I was kicking the... Uh, you know, kicking the tires actually on Garrett uh, Williams as well, but he's coming off an ACL injury and I couldn't yeah. take two guys coming off ACL injury. So, <laughs> so that I took my offensive line. And here. Still no wide receiver. You still, still like our wide receiver listen, core. Right I now. don't, I don't like the receiving core. I'll say that, but <laughs> I'm hoping and I'm praying before this draft starts, the Colts spot, sign yeah. a receiver like a me, Cole Hardman, Adam Thielen just got signed, but, uh, yeah. or, or bring T Y back for a year, something to, to now, maybe Ty is probably on his last leg, and he's going to go to a contender. Yeah. But, but something just—I mean, you can't fill every need in a draft, and the Colts right. have a lot of needs. Now, fourth yeah. round, are you taking corner again? Is that what I'm hearing? Yeah, I like. You know, we both agree on this guy, the Tomlinson uh, kid out of TCU, uh, bloodlines with a uh, you know uh, with Damian Tomlinson, a yeah. smaller guy. He's probably going to be your slot. He's only five nine, but uh, just athleticism off the chart. Seems to be a playmaker. Colts are lacking that a little bit, uh, and so uh, just getting a playmaker would be great. I already got my receiver. I got my quarterback, so I'm not worried about that. I'm going uh, another cornerback. Hopefully we hit on at least one of these two. Yeah, I like the Tomlinson kid a lot. He's fast. Yeah. He's he's kind of reminds me of Diggs a little bit uh, over in Dallas with his kind of yeah. aggressive style. I think he's actually had quite a bit of penalties this year, or Tomlinson yeah. did at TCU. But he is short. That's not the Ballard type. But I think the Colts would – Get a nice pass rusher uh, on that front four, and maybe Quiddy Pay develops, and then having a, a rookie corner who who can create turnovers. I mean, hey, I yeah. would love that. But uh, yeah. I still haven't gotten a receiver yet, and that's why in the fifth round, I wouldn't mind doubling down on receivers in the fifth. We have two fifths right now, and Jonathan Mingo is really sense. a guy I'm looking at uh, out of Ole Miss. Big body guy, six foot two, not super slow. Uh, Fitz Ballard's type of. He, I mean, yeah. look at Pierce, look at Pittman. Colts get big receivers. Uh, what do you think? Yeah. Yeah, no, I think that's I think that's a good move. I think, you know, again, in the fifth round, you 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 got to start getting for depth. Um, you know, right now, uh, Colts uh, are, are looking thin on on offensive line, defensive line, cornerback, wide receiver. So I think these later rounds are going to be all filled with those positions. Uh, I hadn't gotten an edge yet, so I went with an edge kid out of Clemson. K.J. Henry uh, looks pretty decent. Um, you know, again, fifth round, you're kind of reaching a little bit, but I, I think he's got some things. And then the other fifth, I just grabbed the guard. Um, you know, just someone there in the interior, just to, to, again, give them depth. I think what both of us are learning as we did this mock draft is Colts need to do something in the next two to three weeks. Here, yeah. Okay. They, they've got to do something. I mean, whether they go cornerback wide receiver, whether they keep filling some offense or defensive line, they got to do something because they are not, uh, have a full 53 man roster and they can't get enough draft picks to, to make yeah. up for that. So Colts got to get something here. Uh, they are they are uh, really starting to be thin on some key positions. Yeah, one thing I and I'm probably going to get chastised a little bit for receivers so late. Um, yeah. I, I have learned receivers are a little bit like running back, or they're they're turning into that where you can yeah. get a good guy later in the draft and, and be okay. Yeah. Now, if you're in the first round and picking in the teens, there are some big time receivers that you want to draft. Yeah. But second, third, fourth round, I think I think you can get away almost with a lot of these guys are the same, and uh, there's so many yeah. of them that we see just come out of nowhere. So. Um, the Colts do have a lot of needs. I think this next few weeks in free agency is big. They still have some cap yeah. room and some flexibility. I like me, Cole Hardman. They let Paris Campbell walk just to, just to add a little bit more playmaking speed to that core because they don't have that quite there. Um, yeah. But, hey, we'll see. Uh, it's, yeah. it's up to Ballard to figure this thing out, and uh, it's he's got a lot on his plate right now. Yeah, I agree. And, and you know, hey, these mock drafts will go by the wayside in a few days when everything else changes. But it's a good exercise to kind of take a, an evaluation of where the Colts are at right now. And, and again, go back, into, back to 1-4. It's such a huge thing that they didn't get 1-1, and they're stuck now at 1-4 and, and really, really, I think, stuck at the quarterback position. I think they put themselves into a box, and I, I'm really concerned that that, that very first pick – it's going to dictate the entire draft, as you've seen here. You know, we went two different directions 
our drafts can be different directions. So whatever they do at one four Huge. is going to set up set up everything else for that draft. It's so big, and I'm excited to see it, guys. Yep. Let us know what you yep. think. Comment. Uh, are are you okay with waiting for quarterback? I know that's always been the talk of the town, but uh, mm -hmm. and and please, if you can, subscribe to our channel. Uh, we we broke the thousand uh, subscriber milestone. We're going to keep climbing this thing. So we appreciate you watching. Uh, and until next time, thanks for watching the Common Cult Podcast.